Time for more testimony from Melissa Foster. Although really, it's more like Melissa Falster because she's totally lying. This is really Dahlia Hawthorne, crazy serial killer. And so I'm pretty sure that she's the real killer in this case, and she's lying about everything. Thanks for the words of comfort, Diego. Alright, so I think the contradiction is with the third statement. Statement number three. Yes, this statement. At this statement, you want to present the map. There was a much easier way for the killer to dispose of the body. The killer should have thrown the body into the river. After all, in the murder case five years ago, the victim's body was thrown into the river. I'm not sure if I care for the way you put that, Miss Faye. Yeah, what are you talking about, Edgeworth? Mia isn't a nature expert. Oh, whatever, Judge. Whatever. So, we have some new statements which are added to the testimony. And these statements are going to be about the body being taken away from the scene of the crime. I think it's this statement. This is the new statement. At this statement, once again, we are going to present the map. Alrighty, Nia is going to show us the map shortly. And as you can see, it's physically impossible for her to witness the car from her vantage point. Oh, shut up, Edgeworth. You're just lying. And we have the evidence to prove it. We have a photo of the outcropping of rock.
Alrighty, way to go, Mia. Yeah, quit making excuses for your client. Or not client, for your witness, Edgeworth. But of course, Dahlia is going to win over the judge with her sweet, innocent little girl routine. What? Edgeworth? I thought you adhere to the Von Karma principle to be perfect in every way. Yeah, that totally wasn't fair. Yeah, but how does she know this? Sure, we have a photo with scratch marks, but when did Dahlia ever see this photo? And furthermore, our client actually had the keys to the car, so he didn't need to break into the trunk in the first place. So this doesn't work. I think we finally got her. She saw the scratches because she is the real killer, and she put the corpse into the car in order to frame our client. Alrighty, so I think Mia is going to explain further... Oh wait, this is easy. This is an easy thing to prove. Melissa claims to have an alibi because she was busy taking pictures. However, it's really easy to disprove this alibi because her camera has the automatic timer function.
So she purposely took the photo in order to give herself an alibi and to have a photo which incriminates our client. So where was she when the incident occurred? She was right here in the victim's area. She was busy impersonating the victim. So clearly what happened is that she killed the victim ahead of time, stuffed the victim's body inside the car, and then she impersonated the victim while meeting with our client. Oh, come on, Edgeworth, you hang around with Detective Gumshoe. You should be used to hearing ridiculous things. You know, where is Mr. Fowles? Fowles, however you pronounce his name. It would be so much easier if he was here and he could identify her. I am not making this up, Edgeworth. I've got the proof right here. The proof is the note which says that she had to wear a scarf for identification purposes. Alright, so Dahlia, or Melissa, whichever name you want to call her, faints, which means we are going to have a brief recess while she recovers.